Okay, this is the first explosive play, the first of seven. And it's going to be T. Higgins. He's going to run a little slant route. And what it is, he's going to have so much space but, you know, when he catches the ball that nobody's going to even, you know, be there to tackle him. Because watch all the space he has when he, once he catches the ball. And we look like we're in cover two look. And what, make, what makes the space is the slant by 87. This little, that right there, holds this guy, which is, is Queen, I think, from getting out. I think it's Queen. And then that, that gives a big old window for Higgins to catch the ball and get some yak. See how you hold Queen right there? And now this whole, this big window is going to be wide open because it's against cover two. Slant's always good versus cover two, especially if you can get somebody to press this linebacker and keep him in the box. Good throw. Now look at all the space he got. Look at all the space he got. He can he can just take off and do whatever he want. Then as far as pressure, do we um it's a quick throw. So probably ain't no pressure on it. It's just a catch and throw. No real pressure. That's the first explosive. Alright, this is the only real explosive I think they had. In the run game. Got bunched to the bottom. Running split zone. This is the he gonna come you know come across to, to take out the end. His job is to block that guy, and now they working the gaps up front. Let's see. We get a better look up in front of back view too. So we'll let this one just play. Look like they just got a hat on a hat. Mixon had an easy lane. Don't, wasn't even touched. He was like 19, 20 yards down the field. They're just running split zone. That's it. Trying to get a hat on the hat. He's blocking that. He's blocking that. He's blocking that. He's trying to hold that off till he can get over there and block this. They really going to end up with a hat on the hat. Watch. See, there's your double. Your double's right here. And they doubling to bind. Got that block right there. And say the five trying to cut off Queen. The split guy is coming to block. Oh, wait. And what happens is when Mixon presses this back, that sets up the block. See, Mixon is getting the ball here. And then he's going to press it that way. And that's going to allow this guy to block binds. See, that allowed that guy to block binds. Now they got a head on the head everywhere else. Oway kind of got chipped by this guy that's on the ground. Chuck's kind of had to worry about 17 first. And your receivers out here blocking. Now you got one-on-one -on -one with Mixon versus Stevens down here. Missed tackle by, who was that, 38? Yeah, dove down in there. Yeah, by 38. Tackle right there by what about 38 and 21. But that's their only explosive play in the run game. And and the whole game I was screaming. As long as they get in their yards in the passing game, just don't just don't give up the run game. The run game was that game could have got a lot worse if they were able to run the ball like this the whole game. Alright, this is the next explosive. And it's gonna come from this guy right here. He's gonna run a, if I'm not mistaken. This little out route, Queen's going to jump it, and he's going to turn it right up the seam. He's going to turn that right up the seam and be wide open. This is a 68-yard touchdown. Kind of setting him up. And we look like we're in cover one, which I think we are. We are in cover one. Cover one, and Bynes is the robber. This is your robber that sits in the middle. This is your deep guy. Why is he not here? I don't know. But that's the they trying to disguise it. This cover one robber, so he's gonna run that out route. And I remember watching this during the game. At one point, they're gonna show Queen peak in the backfield, and when Queen peak in the backfield, eight to three is gonna turn it up. 
See if we can get that on film. Right now, Queen's looking in the backfield. Right there. And it's over with. And he said, I think somebody said, or maybe he said in an interview he thought he had safety help. Well, that safety got to help everybody, not just you. I think I went too far. Yeah, I went too far. Hold on. Here he is. That safety got to help everybody. This safety that's right here, you got to help everybody, not just you. Not just you. See, now he's looking in the backfield, trying to jump it. It turned up on him. Now, why Brandon committed to this top side so much, I'm not sure. But this is the result. That's the result. 68 yard touchdown. Another explosive play. Watch Queen. See if we can see his eyes. Looking at the receiver. Looking at the receiver. Looking at the receiver. Nah. Right. I, I missed it. But you see him peek. Peeking right there. Now he's looking in the backfield. And that's when the receiver turns it up. Gone. And again, I don't know why Stevens is not in the middle of the field if it's cover one. I don't know why he felt compelled to go help on that top side. But this is the end result of that. Now this next explosive, you know, much as I hate the Bengals, I really love how Jamar Chase ran this. Especially because when I teach young receivers, when you run these, these drag routes or these shallow routes, you got to find the linebackers and see what they're doing before you start looking for the ball. Because if you just run through that looking for the ball, you're going to get knocked out. Right now, he's peeping. He sees this guy on the man-to-man. -man, and he, then he's going to look in here and get information to see what the linebacker's doing. He sees him one-on-one. -on -one. Now he's looking for the linebackers. He sees him carrying them. Now he's going to look for the ball. He gets it. And Bowser's kind of out of position to stop him. So he gives ground. He gives ground, and now he turns it on. So at this point, we're in man. Looks like, again, we're in man. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. He just catches the underneath route and turns it into a explosive play. He caught a three-yard route and turned it into 10... 20, 21 yards on a three-yard pass. A three-yard pass. Mainly because we were in man. And he got the information coming through the middle of the field. Look, he's looking at 21. Now he's looking for the linebackers. Joe gives it to him. He gives ground. Knowing that linebacker's over there. He he comes, you know, he takes a yard back. Now he got the leverage on 54. And now because we're in man, pretty much everybody else is back turned. So that three, four yard routes now turn into explosive play. And so this play right here reminds us of a, a crucial and important football saying in um, football circles, especially among coaches. Sometimes it's not about X's and O's. It's about Jimmy's and Joe's. So T Higgins right here. This is, just, I remember watching the stream and like, oh my God, he caught that. This is Randy Moss like. Now, if I pause it right here, we got good coverage. We got good coverage. We got two guys on him. Got two guys on him. Got two guys here. Queen's covering that back out. And I'm not sure it is, but he got that back. So this is great coverage by Baltimore. Great. And it's still great coverage. You got this guy boxed in. He's a little bit behind, but you got him boxed in with Stevens. Looking for the ball? Now, that's when your Jimmy's and Joe's come in. He goes up to high point the ball. These cats still kind of running. He goes up and high points the ball, and they still running. And as after he high points it, they can't get it out. This, they ain't in decent coverage. Third ace a little slow, but just know Stevens got his back. Now, it's a slight push, but not enough to, to call. And he just goes up and high points it. They don't. Let me see if I can back it up a little bit. 
Look at that. He going up to go get that thing. The ball's right there. He going up to go get it. And they didn't. So now at this point, you got to take that arm and try to rip it out. You got to try to violently rip that thing out. And he does a crucial point in playing receiver, especially being a big receiver. High point it and change your body position. So now they can't knock it out. Now, if you leave in that same spot, they got a good chance of not even being able to see it and knocking it out. But you change your body position, they got to actually see where you're at and try to find the ball. When he turned his back to Stevens, Stevens is not allowed to knock that out. Then he had good enough position on 38 to just kind of lay on him. Made a heck of a play. And there's another one of the explosives. And that, at that point, I knew. I mean, I had I already had an idea, but it was more so about Jimmy's and Joe's than X's and O's in this game. They probably could have threw dots at their playbook and, and still completed passes. All right, now this, this is the last one I'm going to show because um, I had intended on showing all their over 20 yard plays, but after watching that T. Higgins one, it, my stomach started hurting again, so I was like, I don't even want to see too much more of this. So, you know, this is the last one. This is the play that everybody was all up in arms about because it was, the game was already out of hand, and they, they got a big big chunk play on this to get a Burrow over 500 yards, I think is what it was. He threw four. But um, even though they had seven 20-plus yard plays, that was probably another seven plays between 15 and 18 yards, if not I mean 15 and 19 yards, if not more. So even though the explosive plays count as plus 20, they had explosive plays all game. In, uh, they had a, 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 a smidget, a, a smattering of whatever kind of a plethora of plays from – 10 to 19 yards like on one drive every play was uh nine plus yards so there was no sign of stopping them all game so they just had explosive games all explosive plays all game but you know by terms explosive plays are 20 20 yards plus and this is the last one i want to show you know i'm just honestly just sickening looking at it and it's, and, and you can't blame anybody really these these are not high level nfl dbs but but while I got this screen stop right here, it looks like man. Looks like man. They're doubling 83. They're walling 83 off. Uh, got a you know, nice inside leverage on Chase. Got inside leverage on Higgins down here. Stevens is in a decent position. And why they couldn't grass? And ain't no grass growing in Florida right now. They just taking the people money. You got an outside release on Levine. So this is the mismatch. Mixon versus Levine. That's the mix, mix, mix match. And look at Mix and just run past him. Not even close. And these people outside laughing outside my window, knowing they're taking these people money. Ain't no grass growing in Florida. No grass. Look at that, wide open. I mean, Levine just, he can't run with Mix. He can't, I mean, it's, <laughs> what? What there's nothing a coach can do about that. He's just not as fast as Mixon, and we didn't get any pressure. It's just that simple. There's nothing he can do. Everybody else had decent, you know, decent coverage. They found a miss. They found a mismatch, and got it to him deep. And again, why they couldn't grass in Florida? Ain't no grass growing right now. Taking these people money. So I'm gonna end it right here before I go out there and curse the lawnmower man out. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Coach out. Peace.